am a volunteer at the Cobb Family Community Gardens and we just got done with our annual spring meeting. So I'm going to go through the presentation with you and that way you can hear it again because we've had a number of changes and I know there's been a lot of confusion about the changes. So this will hopefully help. So the Cop Family Community Gardens is with the city of Prior Lake and it's run by the Park and Rec organization within the city of Prior Lake. It is not a um, government or tax funded organization. We are all volunteer and all of the funding that we get from you gardeners, sorry about the kitty, um, uh, this is something that we do um, each year and it's approved by the city um, through the committees that they support. There is no tax funding going towards the garden. Uh, the garden is created by the um, very wonderful donation of the Cop family who used to reside in Prior Lake and who also donated the land for the garden. The homestead for the Cop family was where our garden is now today. And there aren't a whole lot of community gardens that are set up the way ours are. Um, we've had free water and lots of great resources and donation of compost and wood chips. So if you're interested in the garden, I encourage you to come and find out about us. Um, we've also had very limited resources, as you'll see. So setting the stage, we are community gardens in um, Prior Lake, and that's in Scott County, Minnesota. We want to build community through gardening. So that's our mission. We have problems that will come up. Any gardener will know this, but managing those solutions as a team is how you're gonna get the best produce, the best response from your team. Um, we do not blame other gardeners. We educate with kindness. Rules are in place to create a positive experience. And you may be required to skip a season as your resource use becomes extinguished. That means after five years, we are hoping that you will take a break. And if there is openness spacing, come back after that, that next season. That's the rule. We've got too many people who want to use this resource and we appreciate your patience as we try to make this fair for new and already existing gardeners. So here are the rules. You can get them at the Prior Lake City we uh, website. The Park and Rec group has them there. Um, it's kind of hard to find the rules, but if you look on these two websites, either one will work. Um, I have two domains just in case one is really super busy at the time. You can go on there and just search for the rules for the COP family community garden. There are also a book of rules at the garden shed. If you are a member of the garden, your combination is 2868. I know um, we give this out right now, but most people who would be watching this video would be gardeners or people of the community. So this garden lock is available to all of our gardeners. Um, we do ask that all of our gardeners keep um, items in the shed that they will not be saddened if they become missing or lost because, you know, it is a community resource. Like I said, we have a maximum of five years of plot continuation. We have one year of a wait to return and all members must attend meetings, must including weeding sessions and maintenance times. We have fence line cleaning and we also have times where you have to come in and meet with the team. So in here we 
decided to say hi and everyone had a moment to talk to each other um, so you weren't at the annual meeting or maybe you were and I think this was a good moment everyone got to say hello to each other the mission of the garden is to promote community through gardening provide education on health nutrition food production and organic solutions to natural problems I don't see any other way that we can do this as a group unless we are providing something for other people so here are our five-year maximum rental allowances we have a reason for this because we have this limited resource which is a shared resource into the community it doesn't mean that we um, want to exclude people we just need to do this at this time we don't have enough resources to include everyone there have been so many people who have been waitlisted and so at this time we will be extinguishing some of our garden memberships in 2018. So new garden locations are Scott County Gardens on Canterbury Road. There will be a possible garden at Green Earth Growers or Green Earth Fingers Farm. And then also the Wozopai Tribal Gardens has a multiple multitude of resources at the Midwakanton Sioux Tribal Community. Bridgewood Church, which is in Savage, that's also an opportunity. And Shepherd of the Lake Church is opening a huge garden. So, you know, there are new gardens going in, but unfortunately, there's just so many people who need them. And we are really blessed with being in downtown Prayer Lake. So I would like to mention two really outstanding gardens as well. The Dowling Community Garden in Minneapolis and the Sioux Line Community Garden in Minneapolis. Now these two gardens are exemplary. They've been around a long time. They have done similar approaches in continuation of registration. So, you know, feel free to work with um, you know some of these older more ex, you know ex, uh, experimental ideas because you know having a resource that's a community resource needs to be shared so here are our expectations we want you to be vegetable and flower gardening not farming i don't want you to come in and plant like 120 beet plants and then sell them somewhere that's not an advantageous opportunity for your garden we want markers clearly posted in the po in the borders for your plot maintained dirt and compost testing and management before you add compost wood chips and shed use must be managed on a clean and effective way we don't need wood chips in the garden plots proper but on the outer walking areas only the shed use is at your own risk and our meeting calendar is on the cop family community garden website this is a community versus a single garden you just don't come in and garden by yourself in the dark you're going to be helping others maybe you might help somebody weed their garden maybe someone will ask you to help during their vacation maybe you could ask someone for help like that you know you cannot just come into this garden without expecting some kind of it a social um, or community edge to your experience we are going to allow squash this year and um, you must cover it up and we'll be monitoring that plantings that shade will not be allowed so here is the 2018 community garden path um, outlook we're moving from 10 by 10s to 10 by 20s to 20 by 20s to all 10 by 20s this will allow us to keep a more even fair opportunity for all of our gardeners so we had a great visitor 
um, and also a fellow gardener, Tian Kai. She is somebody who comes into Prior Lake and just has really made a difference with our watershed areas and with um, landscaping. And if you don't think plants can make a difference, you have to meet Tian. She is absolutely wonderful. So um, her uh, family has been at the garden for a number of years. And what she was talking about was hardening off seeds and growing them in milk container gardens. And then also she had some tomatoes for sale. She will have tomatoes for sale at the garden. Um, and if you want to come and visit us, I bet you'll see her on a Saturday when it's really sunny and nice. So here are some ideas. Um, you should scale up your architecture, which means you just don't go out and plant plants without having some kind of backbone to where they're gonna go, how they're gonna grow, how they're gonna trail, how they're gonna trellis, all those are things. And you wanna make sure that you have your mulch ready so that the weeds don't get out of hand. And if you don't know what any of this is, you are, you're really gonna have to befriend a new gardener. They'll be able to teach and share with you some of these ideas. And I would just advise you to plant seeds inside and then replant them at the garden. The seeds just don't do so well, unless it's like radishes. They do pretty well. Um, water should always be a minimal. And you guys need to really learn how to wrap a hose in a way that it doesn't get kinked. So if you don't know how to do that, um, please let me know. I'm always around. Uh, we do have a tiller at the garden. However, whenever you till, you're destroying all the flora and fauna that's in the dirt. <laughs> Everyone thinks dirt's dead. It's not. It's more alive than our air. So it has a lot of life in it. And you're ripping all that life to dead. death will not create good vegetables. Uh, we want to compost at your own risk because our soil is super rich. We don't need any nitrogen. No more compost. We've had so much added. So if you don't believe me, get, to, get the soil tested. Um, make sure that you mulch with newspaper, grass, leaves, or even fabric that um, you can buy at the home and garden stores. The weed fabric is perfect. Organic gardening only and no pesticides or chemicals. I mean, what are you? Come on, let's, let's get real here. We wanna make sure that everybody's healthy. And this is a community garden. We all are worried about what we put on our bodies. So one of the great resources in Prior Lake, I mean, gosh, you would not believe this. This is the most amazing thing. You can take your seeds to Wozapai Tribal Gardens and they will grow them in a greenhouse for you. So, okay, here we are. This is April 18th. I'm sorry, but the next 40 days, nothing's gonna grow outside. We're probably not gonna have any gardening until May 25th, where it's gonna stay okay outside. So walk, I mean, just run over to Wazupai. They will help you get those seeds started. They also have a plant sale May 10th through 13th, and they do run a TSA. And if you have never done a TSA, you should give it a try. You really might like it. So we also have green earth growers near us and they have a half share and a full share of a CSA purchase wet, uh, weekly vegetable box. You can get a worker share if you work four hours a week throughout the growing season. You get it for four hours of work a week. That's pretty crazy. So make sure that you check out, check that out. Um, I have done the half share and I tell you, you have more vegetables than you could do with. And they also have a flower share, which I highly recommend. We're hoping that green earth growers, um, from my mouth, my voice to your ears, Jenny, please let us know when you decide to start a new garden. 
Okay, so Waterick Feed and Garden is just south of Prior Lake, and they are like one of the best places to get organic starter plants, uh, root vegetables, potatoes, herbs, annual vegetables. They are the best. I love going there. I mean, I get so many great perennials that you never know what you're going to find. So make sure you, you take some time to go see them. Okay, so enough of that. We got City of, La of Prior Lake Park and Recreation contacts, and here I am, Cheryl Hansen. You can call me anytime. If I don't answer the phone, leave a very short message. I'll call you back as soon as I can. I do work full-time, and this is a volunteer position. So make sure that you're kind and reflective and don't get too worried about all of the things that are going on in the world. If you know how to grow your own food, you're going to survive. You're going to be happy. Everything's going to go well. Take care and I'll see you at the garden.